Well, by now, I'm sure many of you out there are aware of the RoboTaxi launch. And if you've been aware of the RoboTaxi launch, then I am certain that you are aware of this lovely video by our good friend, Dan O'Dowd, and you know, the folks over there, Electric and all that. Okay, sarcasm implied. But I'm sure you have seen this video, folks. To say that this was um, a misrepresentation would be an understatement, truth be told. And so, I've had a chance to go through this video and to take a really good look at it. And well, I'm here to tell you that things are not always what they seem. And in fact, we're gonna take a, a real hard look at it and uh, take a look at some other stuff as well. And uh, well, you get a chance to see what might actually happen in real life. So stick around, we're gonna get into that and more in just a moment. Look in the description below to see how you can get some great discount on Tesla accessories. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you back in just a moment. Welcome back. So, like I said, you've seen the video with the car running over the mannequins and just completely ignoring the school bus. Oh my God, it's just pure terror and horror. This is absolutely horrible. These cars are out here just running over child mannequins all day long. Wonderful. Let's get serious and take a look at this. Dan O'Dowd, he is the captain of the Dawn Project and to say that their mission in life is to hate Tesla would be a grand understatement. And when I say a grand understatement, I'm talking they're willing to put quite a bit of money behind uh, some stuff that, well, to just destroy the reputation of Tesla. And what do I mean by that? They're willing to take out a full page ad just to spite Tesla. And not only that, it's to spout a bunch of lies so this is an ad they took out it says the dawn project we did not sign up for our families to be crash test dummies for thousands of tesla cars being driven on the public roads by the worst software ever sold by a fortune 500 company Ooh, the horror the dawn project is organizing the opposition to elon musk ill-advised full self-driving robot car experiment tesla full self-driving must be removed from our roads until it has 1000 times fewer critical now functions. And he goes on and on and on. And basically says full self-driving was fully self-driving. Every car, millions would die every day. Ooh, about every eight minutes, full self-driving malfunctions and commits a critical driving error as is defined by the California DMV. About every 36 minutes, Tesla full self-driving commits an unforced error that if not corrected by a human would likely cause a collision. Anybody that's driving on version 13 knows that, well, this is complete, total, utter nonsense, okay? They are basing this off of information that is years old, many years old. I cannot overstate how terrible of a misrepresentation of the current FSD this really is. And, you know, he still firmly believes this. He still put this out there. Uh, and if reality doesn't meet his expectations, well, he just makes it up. That's the reality of the situation. I mean, how far off is he? The best analogy of this is between Windows 11 and saying that Windows 11 is a really horrible operating system. It doesn't work. It crashes all the time. And you know what? Your computer is completely vulnerable to all kinds of threats. Now, if I were to say that, a lot of people would call me crazy and I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, but Windows Vista was the same way. And that's truly the relation that they are making here. Windows Vista has absolutely nothing to do with Windows 11. Any, if you tried to make that comparison, people look at you like you're crazy. But when it comes to Tesla, they don't understand Tesla. And he preys on the ignorant. Because I'll tell you right now, there's no relation between any FSD that existed a few years ago and today. 
both in terms of software and hardware, especially when we're talking in terms of RoboTaxi. RoboTaxi is on hardware 4. Many of the other previous versions of uh, FSD were on hardware 3. All they have in common is the name at this point, because that former version of FSD was programmed by humans. It was hard coded. Today, we're now working on neural networks and uh, stuff that is being programmed via AI. There's absolutely no comparison that you can make between the two at this point um, that could justify his statements of this being an unsafe system because it crashed four years ago. Maybe that's still a, that's still a maybe truth be told. But today it's a completely different system. RoboTaxi is a completely different system. And so we're going to take a closer look at this video that Dan O'Dowd clearly set up as a media spectacle and also intentionally set it up to fail. How did he do that? Let's take a look. See, there are two aspects to this video that I really want to take a look at. Yes, we have the mannequins being pulled out at unrealistic speeds in front of the vehicle. But more importantly, I also want to take a look at the school bus as well. It's like, okay, well, it didn't stop for the school bus. Well, there are reasons it didn't stop for the school bus. If you were to look at the school bus and see where it is actually located, there are two things you're, that are going to jump out at you when you really start looking at the video. Number one, it is in a parked position on the left side of the street. If you look down there at the FSD screen, you'll see that FSD believes that's a parked vehicle. So automatically, it's kind of not looking at it. It's not paying attention because it's in a parking spot. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to move. It's a stationary vehicle. Yes, it has its stop signs out. It sees them, but it's ignoring them. That's number one. Number two. Now, you guys tell me the odds of them conducting this test, and there just so happens to be a parked yellow Jeep, very large yellow Jeep, right in front of the bus. Folks, that's not by accident. They're intentionally trying to confuse the system. Now, fortunately, I don't believe the system is confused because if you look down on the screen, it sees them as two different vehicles. But this just goes to show you the lengths to which they're willing to go to uh, try to say that this system is flawed and does not work and try to disprove it. There's the school bus situation right there. Now, having said that, let's take a look at another school bus let's take a look at this school bus situation that's on the internet see there's a school bus up ahead we're in a tesla fsd is engaged and guess what fsd actually sees the school bus it sees it as a vehicle that's in the road it sees the lights therefore it recognizes it and guess what there's a child that actually gets off of the bus walks in front of the bus walks in front of the tesla and it's amazing the Tesla doesn't try to mow down the kid, probably because he's not a mannequin. But, you know, if he's a mannequin, then he has something to worry about. Kid gets off the bus. Tesla keeps going about its happy little way. So you can see where Teslas are fully capable of stopping for school buses. So why didn't it not stop for this school bus? Well, it's because of how they orientated it and how they set up the situation. As I said before, the situation was set up to fail. So that's the school bus. But more importantly, what about the kid? What about the mannequins that were being pulled out? Now, I've gone through this video multiple, multiple times already. And I've been looking at it. And there is at no point in this video where I can see FSD being engaged for more than five seconds. Okay? As a human being, Imagine if you were blindfolded, placed behind the wheel of a vehicle. Then somebody puts the vehicle in motion and then all of a sudden rips the blindfold off of you and say, okay, drive. And when you, when you have the blindfold removed, you're looking at a school bus and then immediately while you're looking at the school bus trying to figure out what in the world is going on. First of all, you're trying to figure out How's the car orientated? Am I in a safe uh, position? Am I going in a straight line? Where am I? That takes a couple of seconds for a human, okay? Computers do this a lot faster. I can guarantee you that Tesla is doing it a lot faster, but it does take a few microseconds to kind of sort of orientate itself and figure itself out. So what's going to happen is it figures out where it's at and it doesn't recognize the school bus. 
initially because like I said, it's in a park position. But then unrealistically fast, these mannequins come jumping out at it at the last moment. Even with a human driver, the vehicle would not be able to stop. The human would have ran over him before it even registered in his brain that there's a child in front of the vehicle, or in this case, a mannequin in front of the vehicle. The computer sees it, and in fact, you can see the car slowing down. So you say, well, it's our kid. Why didn't it slam on the brakes? Well, it's all because of how the AI interprets what it sees. It doesn't see a kid. It sees a mannequin crossing the street being pulled out at an unrealistic speed. That's what it sees. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna show you another video here. And I can tell you, I took this video. This is what actually happened to me just a few days ago. And this is what happened. I was sitting at a stoplight. You can see the kids on the right side of the road there. Watch what happens. Kid runs out into the street. FSD is fully engaged. It's been engaged this whole time. It stops. Amazing. We'll take a look at it again. You can see the kids there on the corner. The car starts to move. It's going to make the right turn. And then the child goes, oh, it's, I'm okay to cross the street and runs right out in front of the car. They both run out. Car stops for them. They cross the street. As I've said, the car recognized the kids. It doesn't recognize mannequins, especially little small mannequins wear a hoodie. You're just asking for it at that point. But real people, the car recognizes. And it was engaged well in advance of the incident. In other words, having FSD engaged for a longer period of time definitely increases the safety margin because it you're now giving the system a chance to evaluate the entire area out in front of it. Not just the immediate part in front of the car, but I'm talking, you know, half a block down. It can see quite a ways down the street and see what's going on. It has that time to gather all of that information and to make an assessment of the situation. Now, Dan O'Dowd tried to say, well, because of this test, RoboTaxi is flawed. Well, RoboTaxi has FSD engaged all of the time. So it's constantly looking, it's constantly evaluating the situation, it's constantly waiting for something to happen. It's not being engaged in the last couple of seconds right before you decide to throw a mannequin out in front of it. That's just not the case here. So what does this test actually display? Well, it puts on display that, hey, you pull a mannequin out in front of a, a self-driving vehicle at the very last moment and you engage the system at the very last moment, it'll slow down for it. But if it's a mannequin, it's not gonna stop. That's what it displays. It has no basis in reality, and that's my point. The AI neural network is programmed to recognize people. It is programmed to recognize objects. It is not programmed to really stop for mannequins being shoved out in the middle of the street. That's just not something that it witnesses on a regular basis. It witnesses people walking out. It, re it recognizes kids running out into the middle of the street. This is normal. And that's how you really want the system to work. You want it to work in the real world, not some fantasy obstacle course you wanted to create for it. Uh, that's not how the system is designed to work. And that's why it kept hitting mannequin after mannequin after mannequin because it's doing what it was programmed to do, which is avoid people, not mannequins. So there you go, folks. Well, let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Uh, let me know if you've had similar situations or if it's stopping for school buses for you, if it's not stopping for school buses for you, put it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you again soon.